What's going on guys? Raben here, and we are back. Well, I am back, really. I mean, the episodes haven't stopped coming each day, but I last recorded this series about a week ago, and since then I've been thinking about other games uh, I'm going to play. I'm definitely going to do another Victoria 2 campaign after this, uh, but um, I'm, I'm starting to think about other games I could, I could branch out to, you know. Um, I'm definitely going to play Stellaris when that comes out, and I'm definitely going to play... Hearts of Iron 4. Those games look fantastic. But in the mean, meme time, not the meme time, the mean time, uh, I'm thinking about um, a few other games here and there. Uh, Europa Universalis 4 is one of them, but uh, I don't have all of the expansions, so I don't know. <sighs> I don't know how that's going to work out. I'm missing the most recent two of them that are sort of necessary, I think. Uh, there are a lot of expansions for European Universalis. But anyways, this is Italy. And look at Italy. Oh, man, we are so fantastic. I believe last time we were gearing towards war with the British. Oh, yes, the filthy Brits and their damn big empire. Look at that. This is disgusting. If you are British and you find this beautiful... I mean, what is this? It's literally just snaking through... This, this area, Bang, like Bangladesh, it's like, ugh, just right through. We're, we need to dismantle the British Empire. Um, and that's going to be the next goal we're going to do. With the help of the Russians, of course, who also, of course, um, are really hurting for troops. Um, the British have 134, the Russians have 260. The problem with the Russians, though, is they are mobilized right now. So, I, you know, this is a really disappointing Russia, obviously. I think I've said that many times, but just just look at them. It, it's, so, it's so sad how they could have been great, like much greater than this, because normally I don't see them do great things. But in this campaign, they have 30 million people, which I don't actually see normally during this time because they just get beat up in wars over and over again but they didn't and uh, to compensate for that the game had to just bug out uh, France is still at war with Watara as well they're gonna be eternally mobilized of course so our two allies are fairly fairly weak um, we did just beat up Germany they won't accept a uh, an alliance because too many alliances. Oh, really? Oh, they have a ton of alliances. Why? Why are they? Oh, because they were at war with us, and they give that event to ally with everybody, and then the the alliances don't end after the war. But um, yeah. Well, thankfully Germany does not have any cores on this land anymore, so they're not going to be sad about that. They don't have cores on all states to rain, so they're not, they're not going to be sad about missing their cores. Fascism shouldn't really succeed. Uh, they've got a good amount of brigades, and um, I think they'll they'll do well. I wish they had lost this land, though, but they didn't, so what are you going to do? Anyways, uh, I expanded some factories in the last episode, and um, I don't really know what the game plan is. I definitely want to get Bosnia. I really want to get Slavonia as well, because our borders aren't going to look nice unless we get those two state. What is this state right here? Oh, that would look ugly if we took that. But if we had this state as well... Oh, this is too much infamy. It's too much infamy. If Russia was... Actually, no. I was going to say if Russia was stronger, then we could do that because they would defend us, but I, I'm i pretty sure if you go over the infamy limit, people just break alliance with, alliances with you and then declare war on you. Makes sense. Um, we are building a ton of troops to prepare for this war with Britain. And um, if you look at our industrial score right now, it seems low, right? It, it seems a little bit low. But uh, our soldiers and army is 486 military score. If you look at the United Kingdom, their soldiers and army is 234. They're getting most of their military score from their navy. And uh, our navy, we have four navy tech. I don't really... I didn't feel like navy was going to be very important. We didn't even really need it to get the most populous provinces in Africa. And we got every single, you know, all the good ones, which is West Africa. There's some down here in the Congo region that are very populous, but 
we got the the best. Uh, Russia also got some land over here, of course. I don't I don't like how Dismantle Empire gives them some land, but um, what are you gonna do? One thing we could do, rather than dismantling the British Empire, now that I think about it, is install communism. Because if we install communism, then their people will be very, very angry, and they will suffer from massive, massive rebellions. Also another thing to think about. The problem, the big, big problem right now, is we don't have uh, a lot of time left. It's Halloween right now, you know, People are trick-or-treating all over Italy, and um, they're not really thinking about war right now. Maybe they are, actually. I don't know. I think we've made southern Italy very bloodthirsty. <laughs> they are the ones who have started every single rebellion because of how much we encouraged jingoism and protectionism. Oh, look at Malta. They have an artillery unit down here. Oh, man. All right. Well, I guess we need to get this campaign finished up. So, this is just a check-in. I know it doesn't seem like that since uh, the last episode you saw was probably a day ago or whatever. But, for me, it's been a while. So, let's get back into it. We are probably... Egypt goes bankrupt. Oh, everybody's going bankrupt immediately. Masharashtra has gone bankrupt. I hope, uh, is the United Kingdom, like, no. I was going to say, like, they might have a rebellion, but they don't have enough fascists or communists to have one that would be successful. They would need, like, 20% in each province, 15%. They could become fascist if we destroyed all their troops, but, we, well, we could land an army in Britain. Now that I think about it, with our navy. The thing about Victoria 2 and Naval AI, if you've played Victoria 2, you know the Naval AI is atrocious. And in Colombia, in the Colombian campaign, I was like, they don't land a lot. Uh, they don't land their navy and their troops on foreign soil that are like cross, across uh, water a lot of the time. And that's true. A lot of the times they don't do that or they do it very slowly and very terribly. We're not going to intervene in Cambodia. But um, even worse than that is just the combat. They don't know, they don't even take into account ships near them, it feels like. So, the naval AI is pretty bad. What, is this Egypt? I, I don't think we care about Egypt anymore. We don't share a border with them, so it's kind of impossible to get Egypt into our sphere. Wow. Their industrial score is insane. We lost so many people to immigration. That's what I'm kind of sad about. And war. Look at that. We're losing 11,000 people. Why can we just not, you know, say no to immigration? Just put all troops on every single sea border. Nobody's leaving. Yeah, they'll get a little bit angry, but... Yeah. Who cares? A little anger never hurt anyone. I moved all of these troops over here. Um, we're also building a bunch of troops right now. Serbian boy shot by police. Uh-oh. Whoa, this guy has so much morale. Or uh, prestige. Huh. Um, let's conduct a thorough investigation. Sure. We're still humanitarian, you know, even though we are pretty much forcing the migration of thousands of people each month. Argentina. Paraguayan Entre Rios. No. We're not going to join that war. Screw the U.S. and their stupid... Oh, man. That war. Uh, I really did not like using the consul there to, to win that war. But... It, I, it was, just, I don't know, it, it felt like the only way, because they, there's no war enthusiasm mechanic, right? And um, the idea that France wouldn't have peaced out after having their whole country occupied for like two years is just odd. They probably would have peaced out after one month. Actually, they probably would have peaced out after like 
Paris got sieged. I mean, I don't see how they wouldn't. You know, I, like it's like the Confederate States, right? They didn't really surrender. I mean, they still had states fighting. They still had places where they were fighting, but they surrendered, you know, before they lost every single bit of territory. Germany, I think the same thing happened in World War II. They surrendered, uh, but they still had territory when they surrendered. They just, you know, knew that the war was going to end, and there was no point. Oh, man. All right. When can we adopt the two-nation theory? Oh, we could do Palestine and... Wait, what is this? Oh, this is Pakistan. I've already, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm having a deja vu here. I feel like I've already said this, that I thought this was Palestine, but it's actually Pakistan and India, right? This has to be. Sin, Punjab, Kalat. Yeah. Reform the Italian colonial army. I don't know what this event does. I see this event availability on a lot of countries. And I remember clicking it once when I was playing Sweden, but I don't remember it doing anything. We just need uh, the totalitarian system. So law changed ends... Oh, this year. Okay. And then we'll see uh, where communism is at after this. I wonder if Russia or uh, France is doing good. They have a lot of fascists. Oh, <laughs> We have ruined the world. Um... We really have, because we're not even that strong, right? We don't have a lot of population. Although I do think it's unrealistic that literally so many people would be leaving the, you know, Italy when they have jobs and, and whatnot. Well, actually, now that I think about it, those events that we clicked, we did kill off a lot of the population. Never mind, maybe I'm... I'm thinking I'm thinking about it wrong. They do have jobs, but they probably don't like the idea of no dissension. Freedom of speech is a pretty important thing in some countries. Not the US, not the US. We got 78 troops over there. We've got a lot of troops on this border. I love it. But uh, the army composition at this point, I, I don't know. I mean, you can blame me. I, I, I blame myself for how it's turned out, the army composition, because it does look very disgusting. I won't, I won't lie. It does look very, very, very gross. But uh, I stopped caring once we went over like 100 brigade, brigades. I really wish it, there was a an option and I hope if they use, like, they're probably going to change the mechanics in Victoria. Oh, man, we just finished railroads. Did I really decide to do that? I'll expand these while I talk. Okay, so I really hope in Victoria 3 there is a mechanic where, if they, assuming they keep the same um, military combat, which they probably won't. I mean, the same idea w will be there, you know, with dig-in bonuses, etc., etc. But, um... I think that if Victoria 3 had a an AI control of armies, it would be a lot more enjoyable in the late game. Um, micromanaging all of these armies is not really what I like in this game. Now, in Hearts of Iron 3 and the Hearts of Iron series, it makes sense if you want to do that, right? I didn't do that because I wasn't really interested in the warfare, which is odd. Um, considering it's Hearts of Iron and it's, you know, based on warfare. But I've never been really interested in tactics and whatnot. I like the the building part. I like making a nation great again, like a certain presidential candidate. Oh, God. I get, no, no politics in here. Even though this uh, this game is pretty political. No current politics. Um... Oh man, we're about to get all these texts finished. Oh, this gives war exhaustion minus 25%. That sounds pretty good. 
what is this crisis? Silesia, we are interested because otherwise we lose 400 prestige. So what is this rebellion? I didn't even read. Oh, it's the fascists. Again. <laughs> Come on, guys. Do you guys think that... Um, that in the real world, this kind of rebellion would happen? Probably not, because we don't have as much control um, as you would expect of a communist nation. Because if I was in control, and I was ruthless, then... Did we just... No, we just lost Bengal. They're conservative now, I didn't even realize. Let's just lose prestige, I don't want to lose infamy. Now we are opposed. That's not good. Oh, what is this crisis over? Silesia. Austria is on the side of... Austria. <laughs> Belgium is strongly inclined to support Austria. Why did nobody else join? Is it because Russia and France are at war? France is not even a great power. Wow. I am so sorry, France. They were actually strong this game, and we ruined... What the hell? Sicily. What is this? <laughs> There's too many fascists. Why did we make Southern Italy fascist? The worst decision... The worst decision I have made in Victoria 2 was encouraging this much jingoism and fascism. I'm surprised there are still socialists and liberals left at this point in Naples. Um, there's not a lot of fascists. I think fascist um, fascism only like thrives if you have revanchism, I believe. That makes sense, right? Germany became fascist because they wanted their provinces back. And maybe a little bit more. Uh, what is this? Brazil. Oh, nice. We need that tropical wood. We've got some unemployed craftsmen. But these factories are expanding. Immigration-wise, we're at 9,500. I can't tell if it's gone down. I know it was 11,000 like two years ago, but... I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's going down. I don't really know what I could have done to make the militancy lower. I probably should research that. I mean, we are just losing a ton of people. And I really don't like that. Ah, <sighs> 12.19, we've actually lost, we're, we're hardly gaining Italians. And the, the United States is getting all of our people, pretty much. It's pretty lame. I mean, did Russia have a lot of immigration when they became communist? I would assume during the rebellion, of course. But then after that, I don't, I don't think there would have been this much. You know? Because this seems a little ridiculous in my mind. What am I doing wrong? Huh. Administration. Like, is it the bureaucrats? Is that the problem? Where do we have craftsmen? Lazio. No, they're at 2.5%. Could encourage soldiers. Um. Oh, here we go. The totalitarian system. Alright, so we get ruling party support plus 300%. Political awareness minus 300%. Literacy impact upon consciousness minus 50. Pop militancy. Should we have gone for this first? I think we should have gone for this first. Why did I not see that? Minus 0.15? Oh, jeez. Oh, wait, no, no, no. You had to have all three to get this. Oh, man. Okay. Oof. I thought I was an idiot. You, you had to have all of the three prior to get this. So now... Let's see... 
what happens. Militancy is going down. I wish I had gotten um, mass politics sooner. That's the technology, the prerequisite for these events. Oh, yes, it's going down. Oh, my gosh. I'm clapping a little bit. That is awesome. Finally. We should be... Now people should stop leaving our nation by the thousands. Maybe not. Come on, guys. It's okay. It'll probably take like a year before this really irons out. All right, we've got ten years left. Ten years and six months, I believe. Oh, man. What do we do? Oh, the crisis. I forgot about the crisis. Um, Belgium. Is Belgium even anything at the 50 military score? 142 brigades, 26 out of 30 military tech. We have 30 out of 30, actually. Did we join this crisis? This would be one of the ways to get into war with the United Kingdom. The problem is, I don't think we'd be able to dismantle them without owning all of India. We could try to land an army in Britain and then bait the AI into going into it. <laughs> A bit cheesy, but I'm willing to do it. I am willing to do it. I, the, the problem is our ships are very, very slow. There are um, speed techs, and we're missing, what, five of them? And that's uh, 10 kilometers per hour, so our ships are weak. Um, like, they're, they're just sailboats con compared to the ships that Great Britain is going to have. United Kingdom. Hmm. With this uh, war, we wouldn't have to justify. That's a big plus. And it seems like dismantling an empire is allowed. Sort of. Like when you when you join a war. Like you don't by allowed I mean you don't get any infamy for it. Um Hold on, I'm gonna save right here and I just wanna this is just for me for later. Um I want to see if, you know, what would happen if we didn't go to war here and just let the population grow. I'm really curious how the militancy wor will, would work out, because if we're going to go to war right now, then um, we're going to get a lot more militancy. It is going down. Migration doesn't seem, it, it seems pretty steady, 9,000 to 11,000. Um... We wouldn't have France, we wouldn't have Russia. Could try to bait the United Kingdom, as I've said. We have 39 transports. We could transport, what, 150,000 troops? And if we land them in the forest? Or the high, oh god. <laughs> land, land them in the montane grassland. Oh, I really want to do that now. I know the AI. If they're not sitting in that province, they would love to come down and, um, <laughs> and go there. We're going to join Austria's side. Uh, they might just white peace, though. Military square of a, of a thousand. Austria has 76. They're probably going to white peace. Maybe. Actually, no. It's been... Crisis has been going on for quite a while now, so maybe not. All right, just expanding some factories here. We are paying a lot of uh, a lot of subsidies. I know. Look at this tank factory, though. Now this is awesome. 
one thousand. This is this is the best profit margin. Oh, Bengal, what is this? Is the United Kingdom still working on Bengal? Oh, they are. They're gonna get Bengal because they're closer. Well, it looks like we are going to go to war. How long have we been going on this episode? Twenty-five minutes. All right. Um. Let's see. We're going to have to push in here. I don't know. I don't think Britain is going to have that many troops in this area, so we're probably going to get all of Africa. Austria doesn't have any troops anywhere. They're not going to do anything. United Kingdom might land some troops here or there. And we're going to have to be on the lookout for Great Britain's navy. Oh, you know what I should do right now? We already have military access. Perfect. Crap, I need to... Oh, wait, no, I don't. All right, we're going to bring all the troops to Brest. <laughs> um, I don't know how many brigades we need over there. Let's just get everybody and see what happens. Is Austria fascist? Oh, no, they're communist. Perfect. Perfect. Look at this communist... Um, Triple Alliance. It's like World War One. Um, Russia is like reactionary. I don't even know. They're still a monarchy. Fascism is actually pretty high, surprisingly, because I don't think they have any cores. It's not like they're missing cores. They have all of their core land. Did I send the... Oh, I didn't send the boats up. Ooh. Gu guys. Right now. Is this really the time? Are we going to be able to get the boats up there? I don't even think they're going to get up there in time. Field of battle. Uh-oh. Where are the boats? Jeez, they are so slow. They are ridiculously slow. Dock up in France. We have a clear idea of where they are. Um, oh man, I have to micromanage. See, this is what I don't like. Oh, what? Really, there's a rebellion down here? Well, France is going to help us a little bit. I didn't know they would rebel down here in Africa. I really don't want to go into the desert, but... Whatever. How many troops have we thrown away at this point? Is it really a good idea? It, does, it doesn't matter. Actually, it does kind of matter. I feel a bit bad that I'm throwing away troops like this. Go down here. We probably should just split them up. Actually, I'm going to do that. All right. Let's see. Uh, actually, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm going to the to uh, end the episode here, and uh, I will have split all the troops in the next episode, and started the war, and we're gonna see how this works out over here. See you in the next episode.